In 2023, an ex-NASA engineer claimed he built a machine that can lift itself against gravity without using any fuel. No rockets, no fire, no exhaust, just electricity. If true, it would break the most sacred laws in physics and rewrite everything we know about space travel. So, is this just another hoax or a door to the future? The engineer's name is Charles Bueller. He used to work for NASA, making sure rockets don't blow up randomly. He was a part of the Space Shuttle, Hubble, ISS, and other huge projects. Now, Bueller and his team work at a private company called Exodus Propulsion Technologies, trying to build a long-term dream of space engineers, a spacecraft that doesn't need fuel. It's the kind of thing that would instantly change everything about space travel. Just think of the future where you could go to the moon, Mars, or wherever you'd like without spending tons of resources. And he claims that he and his team have finally cracked the code. That they've built a machine that can lift itself in the air without any propellant. You got it right. The team claims to have violated Newton's third law, the basic rule of our world that every action needs an equal and opposite reaction. For example, in rockets, you throw fuel out the back, that's action. Being pushed by it, the rocket goes forward, that's the reaction. A magical device like that would also violate the conservation of momentum. When you push on something, you gain momentum, but something else has to gain equal momentum in the opposite direction to balance the books. But this device would change the total momentum of the system out of nowhere. If you're getting motion without pushing against anything, how in the world did you do that? It's like a balloon that can somehow move forward without blowing out any air. If the machine actually works, there must be some new, unknown force of nature that we've somehow missed in hundreds of years of physics. Bueller himself called it the new force. Let's try to figure it out. To create this magical device, they used electrostatics. Their test device was little a 30-gram object about the size of a card deck, and it managed to create thrust or push using electric fields, a kind of invisible force made by electric charges. The new force starts working when two things happen in the system. The first one is electric imbalance. There's some electric pressure happening across parts of the device, kind of like air pressure. If it's not spread out evenly across it, for example, one side has more electric push than the other, that's the first ingredient. And that happens when the electric field, the invisible force that electric charges create, is set up just right. It has to spread out in a certain way, not in straight lines, but uneven and fanning out, like sun rays or the spokes of a wheel. And boom, when it happens, the device pushes on itself and makes the whole object move. At first, the mysterious new force was tiny, barely noticeable, little to no thrust and noise. But with each upgrade, things started to shift. And in 2023, they finally measured enough thrust to overcome Earth's gravity. The weirdest part is that, according to Bueller, in some cases, the thrust keeps going even when the power is off, as long as there's still charge left in the materials. That's weird. That's really weird. That hints at something totally new in physics, something deeper than we currently understand. So now, any honest scientist starts sweating, because that sounds bananas, and frankly, it might be. Bueller admits this is still early work. The team published their discovery and got a patent. By the way, the company includes people who've worked at NASA, Blue Origin, and the US Air Force. They've been tinkering with this stuff for decades. Charles presented his findings at APEC, a conference for people who are passionate about alternative propulsion and crazy stuff like warp drives, anti-gravity, and ways to make Star Trek real. Now, they're actively working on that project. Of course, this stuff got very controversial and lots of scientists are skeptical. There might be a mistake no one has caught yet, so they want to test the machine in space. If it works out there too, it could change space travel forever. It might be real, because it's not the first time we've discovered something like this. Recently, a startup called Evo Limited claimed that they'd built a quantum drive, 
another propulsion device that apparently didn't need fuel. They said they're tapping into a weird controversial theory of physics called quantized inertia. It was cooked up by a British physicist named Mike McCulloch. He basically said that inertia, the thing that makes objects resist acceleration, isn't a basic rule of nature, but an effect caused by some weird quantum radiation at the edge of the observable universe. In simple words, if QI is right, then under the right conditions, you might be able to generate thrust without throwing anything backward. You don't need fuel, just electricity and a clever enough setup. Many scientists don't buy into it, but who knows? Maybe that's why these new inventions could actually work. Anyway, initially, the IVO company was founded by a small team of tech guys who wanted to find wireless power. Their first big idea was called CBAT, capacitive-based aerial transmission. Basically, a fancy way to wirelessly send electricity through the air. But somewhere along the way, they pivoted. They started wondering, if we can move electricity through the air like this, can we move objects too? Can we rethink inertia itself? So, in 2021, they began working on a propulsion device based on this quantized inertia theory. They built the quantum drive around this idea. It was a self-contained electric system. No fuel tanks, no combustion. Just a plug-and-play box that makes spacecraft move. They said it's light, stackable, and can be bolted onto a satellite like a toaster. And it weighs just a few hundred grams, way lighter than traditional thrusters. In 2023, they tested it, not in someone's garage, but in a legit vacuum chamber, simulating space conditions. The team said they ruled out every known force that might explain the results, and that it did generate thrust, not a lot, but consistent and measurable. Then came the big moment. IVO and a partner company, Rogue Space Systems, launched the quantum drive into space. And now, they're waiting for the results of the tests. A lot of physicists think it's all nonsense. Some of them notice that this stuff is impossible because they'd be perpetual motion machines. Basically, if a device like this actually worked, you could use it to make infinite energy, which violates the first law of thermodynamics. But IVO says they're not doing that. They say QI works within our normal Newton's laws, just a bit differently. Anyway, all this stuff needs double-checking. Skepticism is so right because a lot of people get some unpleasant flashbacks. In 2001, a British engineer named Roger Scheuer introduced the M-Drive. It was this weird cone-shaped device that supposedly created thrust without pushing anything out the back. People were super excited. NASA even tested it with their EagleWorks team. And in 2016, they said they've detected tiny amounts of thrust from the M-Drive. The media absolutely blew up. People and scientists were hyped up. But later, bigger studies, including one from a German university that really went deep, found the sad result. It was just an experimental error. By 2021, the verdict was in. The M-Drive didn't work. It was all experimental noise, misunderstood data. Another dream went down the drain. Many propellantless designs have crashed into one huge stubborn wall, the laws of physics. So it's too early to say that these startups just change the world forever, but if it turns out to be real, it's not just a new engine, it's a new era. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.